I'm Donna from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do a special stitch called the broomstick lace. This stitch is really pretty for a baby blanket, a shawl, or my favorite, a nice, easy, and quick scarf. Depending upon your pattern, there may be several variations on how to complete this stitch. However, the basic premise is still the same. To do the stitch, you need to know how to do a basic chain as well as a single crochet. In addition, you need one crochet hook and one large knitting needle. The directions given in this video can be used to make the scarf you saw at the beginning. We'll begin by chaining 20. Once you've made your 20th chain, pull up the loop and insert your knitting needle. Note the direction of the knitting needle. As far as the loop, the section that pulls from the yarn skein should be in the front. Insert your crochet hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and place it on the knitting needle. Make sure the part that pulls from the yarn skein is in the front facing you. Now do this again. Insert your crochet hook into the next chain stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and place it on the knitting needle. If you are having some difficulty lifting the loop on the knitting needle from the crochet hook, you can just use your fingers to place it on the knitting needle. Keep doing this for the remaining chains. Once you have 20 loops on your knitting needle, it is time to start taking them off in groups of five. For the first group of five, I like to do something a little special just to keep the loops consistent. Insert your crochet hook near the bottom of the first set of five loops. Slide this hook up near the top, yarn over, pull the yarn through, then do a chain one. Carefully pull this set of five loops off of your knitting needle by pinching your thumb and pointer finger in the middle of these loops so that they don't move. Now, do five single crochets in the loop's center hole area. Next, pull up the next five loops a little closer to the end of the knitting needle. Insert your crochet hook in these five loops. Pull them completely off the knitting needle. Pinch the loops in the center and do five single crochets in the center of the hole. Repeat the process in groups of five loops until you have no more loops remaining on your knitting needle. Now, the next row is done in a similar fashion to the way we did the initial chain row. Draw up the loop you have on your crochet hook and place it on the knitting needle. Put your crochet hook in the top of the next single crochet. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Place this loop on the knitting needle. Continue doing this across until you have 20 loops on your needle. And now we'll repeat what we did before. Insert your crochet hook in the first set of five loops, slide to the top, yarn over, pull through, and chain one. Slide the five loops off of your needle and do five single crochets in the center of that hole. Remember that you only have to do the chain one just in the first set of five loops. With the remaining sets of five loops, just pull them off of the needle and begin your five single crochets in each hole. Keep working in groups of five until you are satisfied with the length of your scarf. I hope this video has helped you and please visit www.nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.